Well, what we have here is a selection of uh, replica Roman surgical instruments. Right. And these are based on ones that have been found at Pompeii. Oh, right. Okay. So when Pompeii was discovered in the 1860s, yes. these, the, rep, the original ones were found at the house of the surgeon. Right. And the story goes that when Vesuvius erupted, the surgeon made for the door. He could see that the lava was coming, coming down. Through. That's yeah. right. Picked up his tools, okay, mm -hmm. dropped them on the way to the door, okay, rushed out, yeah. the lava covered his house and the whole of Pompeii, and they were discovered then many, many years later, okay. Um, so these uh, were made by um, a local um, a person, uh, and they are, they are replicas. So what we have here, I'll, I'll tell you about some of them. So First originally of all, they would have been made from... They would have been made from uh, iron, steel or bronze. Okay. Mm. okay. Okay. These are brass. Yes. Yeah. Um, we have a bone saw. Okay. Ooh. It's a double-handed bone saw, this is. Gives a bit of weight. Find, it gives a bit of weight, but I find it rather unwieldy, actually. Um, it's fairly sharp. To cut through, maybe. Um, but, but prior to using the bone saw, of course, you would use a scalpel. Yes. So we have a steel blade, yeah. which is nice and, nice and sharp, sharp, and a brass handle. Right. So if you were going to do, let's say, a minor amputation, you would then oh, cut yeah. the flesh yeah, yeah. there and then and then cut through the bone with cut that. through there leaving a good flap there um celsus yes. the um the roman doctor yeah. said that you need to cut through good flesh okay okay to make absolutely certain that you don't introduce any infection. more infection okay in. yeah and then you could create a flap right there, okay and yeah. then sew it up and yeah, hopefully yeah. the infection would the infection wouldn't uh, spread would, to the rest wouldn't spread. Yeah. Right. so that's your minor amputation okay uh this is an interesting one this is called a <coughs> uh, um a staphylagra okay. uh, it's a greek originally a greek instrument and this was had two uses one was to remove the uvula Ooh. okay the little thing that hangs that's down through your throat there, that's yeah. it so if you look in the mirror and you go, uh, oh, wow. you can see it flapping around. Yep. Mm. Okay. Why would you um, want to remove that? Well, <laughs> basically <laughs> infection. And I imagine the woman uh, used sedation. <laughs> no. no. So um, the reason oh. you would remove it is if it became infected, it would get, it would expand mm. um, and, uh, and block your block your sinuses airway. and everything. Yeah. Windpipe. Yeah, and the windpipe. Uh, and oral breathe, oral yeah. hygiene was only in, it's an infancy yeah. in Roman times, yeah. so people didn't look after their the oral teeth. cavity, their teeth, their gums, and so so this thing could get infected. Mm. So this would be inserted. This uh, staphylagra would be inserted into the oral cavity, yeah. and it would be the uvula would be crushed first. Okay, you're going to love this. Aren't you? Oh. It would be crushed first. <laughs> Um, they prevented hemorrhaging all over the place yeah. and then snipped off snip. and then removed. So crush and then snip. <laughs> exactly. Push, snip, remove. Oh, and push. then to stem the blood flow, mm. you would take a cautery iron, heat this up, mm. okay, and then insert mm. that and press it against the right. where I the see what you was mean. Yeah. to yes. stop it from, yeah, yeah. from bleeding. So like a sealant. Yeah. Like a sealant. Yes. Oh my God. Um, the oh, other... this is gory stuff. <laughs> I know, it's lovely, isn't it? Oh, I'll be thinking of this the next time I do this. Oh, I know, I'll be dreaming of this. <laughs> <laughs> now, the, the other uh, uh, use for the staphylagra was for the removal of hemorrhoids. Oh! Okay. Oh, dear. <laughs> so you can see it's got a nice serrated edge there. Gets into the yes. cavity there. <laughs> um, these are bone levers for resetting broken bones. Oh, right, okay. Quite simple, really. Uh, this is a... <laughs> this is a lithotomy scoop, and this would be used for the removal of bladder stones. Oh my okay. god. Um, and that was done by making a cut in the perineum. Okay. Okay. Which is between yes, here yeah, and here. And then try okay. and... Uh, now, normally um, the bladder stones would be removed uh, with the hand, with fingers. Yes. Okay. Yes. But where the, that was not possible, that then would this come would into be play. Come into, yeah. into play. Um, it is rather gory, this one, so I'm not going to go into no. the, the actual thing. No. Um, <laughs> another nice one is a cataract needle. Oh, wow. Um, not a common operation because people didn't really live that long to yeah. develop cataracts. Yeah. Well, if um, they did, then... But if they did, then... Uh, it's only audio, isn't it? So it's no <laughs> um, This would be used for 
not necessarily the removal of the cataract, but moving the cataract down out of the field okay. of vision. Yeah, oh, okay. so it's With not this... blocking the vision of the <coughs> eye. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. Now, if it started to break up, you could then cut the cataract up with the okay. point of the needle and then take it out with... And a, then they would just take it out. With a, these are not the, yeah, the right ones to use, but with yeah, a, with a pair of... Yeah. Something like yeah, tweezers. Yeah. Yeah. Oh my God. Isn't that fascinating? <laughs> totally amazing. Uh, we've got... Um, this is an osteotome. This would be used for uh, extraction of teeth. Oh, anything for ears. Particularly, I was just wondering but if you've got all them, did they, how did they extract the earwax or did they not bother? Oh well that would be done with something similar to similar this. Similar to that? Similar to this. Yeah, like the spoon. That's right, yeah. yeah. You can find in yeah. in India they, they, they do, would do wax yes. removal. Yeah, yeah. Um, these are catheters for urinary tract infections. This is for you sir, this is the male. Can I have that thing? Of course. Oh, wow. Look at that. And this one is the Oh look at that. Oh wow. One. Oh wow. So these are the catheters. Wow. Oh my um, God! Various other things, of course, tweezers, spatulas, more, more. Um, it's the perfect doctor's scalp. kit, then, isn't it? It, it? it is the perfect doctor's kit. Yeah. yeah. Selected with care, these ones. <laughs> <laughs> One more. One yeah. more. This is called a trephine, and this would be used for trepanning. And trepanning <clears throat> is drilling a hole in the skull, mm. removing a piece of bone to relieve the pressure on, on the, the brain, brain from a head trauma. Mm. Blood clots, mm. tumours mm. could be removed once you've taken out the, taken out the piece. I of wonder, were they very successful at the time? It's a very common operation. It goes yeah. back to the Stone Age, and seven thousand years was, ago. Yeah, yeah. Still done today. Yeah. And very common in wartime. Yes. Mm. Very common. So in just wartime. to relieve that the pressure. The pressure. Away. It's a bit yeah. like when you have a bang on one of your nails and yes. you put a yeah, yeah. needle in it and it the releases. Blood re it Correctly, releases yeah. that, doesn't it? Oh, yeah. that's that's the same yeah, principle, yeah. Same isn't, it? isn't it? Yeah, exactly. And I, I know that was done in yeah. time. Yes, yeah, yeah. yes. Yeah. yeah. Fascinating. Well, thank you very much. Thank that's very, much. Uh, that is really good. Thank very enlightening. You. And uh, can I see that podcast at any time? Yeah. Yes. Go and to go to um, two <laughs> two loons last track yes. on YouTube. Yes. On YouTube. Just yeah. go two loons last track. Two loons last track. And as long as you're happy, you're and happy you'll find it. Putting it on there, you'll yeah. find I do. I work for the National Trust. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. We have a National Trust um, um, on the same, playlist, on the same don't we? National Trust playlist of all. Yeah. Probably I, been we've been to Lowe's, uh, Coriander, Basil, Bailey. Oh yeah. Well. Uh,